an ideal gas. I remember it was the time I was conducting a class with my students, and then they were like, uh, this student was like, what exactly is an ideal gas? Like, so are you able to give us an example of an ideal gas? And I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, so basically, when you look at gases, gases are complicated. They are actually full of billion and a lot of energetic gas molecules that collide and interact in many, many ways. So it's basically very hard to exactly describe a real gas. So people created the concept of an ideal gas just like as as a way of approximating as an a way of approximation that would help us to model and predict the behavior of a real gas. So this term ideal gas kind of refers to a hypothetical gas, something that is not real. Okay, it's just an hypothesis. Hypothetical gas, which is composed of molecules that follow these rules. Okay. So, according to the way I've arranged them, an ideal gas, when you look at its molecules, the molecules have got no volume, meaning that the molecules themselves take up no volume. And then the second point is, its gas molecules have no attraction or repulsion for each other. Fade. They are in constant random and rapid motion. So we assume that the, the, the molecules of a gas are always moving. Okay. And then we expect that these gas molecules, they collide without losing energy. Okay. And then, of course, they have an average kinetic. Okay. So there is a rate at which they are basically moving. Okay, so these are the few things that you have to note under an ideal gas. And of course, the last part, uh, the point which says they should have an average kinetic. So should have an average kinetic energy. That is, of course, proportion to their Kelvin temperature. That is, the kinetic energy is direct proportion to the Kelvin temperature. So these are actually the things that you have to note about an ideal gas okay so now that you know what an ideal gas is in the next tutorial we'll talk about the ideal gas law and of course the equation that is very useful as we perform calculations in relation to ideal gases